here with Shirley, and Shirley, uh, we just got finished closing on your house. You, uh, if I remember the story correctly, and fill in the blanks, but you had inherited this house, is that right? That's correct. And it was like a relative of yours? Yes, my uh, great aunt left me this house. Okay, and then you attempted to fix it up, or how? how yes, I. the house was built in 1890. It needed a lot of work, and so what I did was um, hire a contractor to come in and he you know, did his exam over the house and told me what it would cost and what all would be involved. And so I've been trying to have this house renovated for six years now. Wow. And I ran into problems with this here contractor. It was one thing right after another. Um, he would start to work and he would work on it for weeks at a time, then he would stop. And then he would uh, come back. So. Um, I contacted him over and over and then he did not respond by email or phone call. Uh -huh. And then I got to the point where um, I was getting notices from DC. So by getting notices from DC, I attempted to reach him one last time before I pursue any legal actions. And once he did not respond, I went to a lawyer, we started the process, and uh, and during that process, I had to do something immediately. So my husband and I decided we would sell the house. And so that's when we contacted you all. Okay. And so once we contacted you all and you came by, you looked at the house, and then um, you gave us a great offer, and then we uh, went to closing. And everything went recorded. Everything was smooth. We were satisfied. There wasn't any hassles. There wasn't any delays. Uh -huh. So um, after going um, through this route with you all, we went to closing. Now we're happy, and we got rid of the uh, stress, yeah. unnecessary stress. Good. Yes. I mean, the, so dealing with contractors isn't always what it's cracked up to be. No, it's not. <laughs> it really isn't. And I wish we had, by me inheriting this house, I really wanted to see the end results. Uh -huh. But because um, the way the contractor had did us, that's something I will not be seeing. Well, hopefully we'll, we'll let you see it um, yeah. when it's on the end product, but I know you would like to have seen that. Yes, because I had a product. vision. I had yes. a vision for this here home. And um, so and I was looking forward to the end results. But like I said, he, um, the contractor, did not fulfill his obligations. Yeah. And uh, so I feel cheated, and I am really hurt about it. But at the same time, I mean, we got rid of the house, and the stress is gone. And so now we can just, you know, have a relaxing life. Yeah. But thanks to you all, you know, that's, you know, it happened. And we're glad that it Good. happened this way. And I hope to show you the end result so another family can come and enjoy that house. Yes. Once it's fixed up and looks like basically like a new house again. So yes. it's a 100, 100 plus year old house will look like new again. Yes, it's going to be exciting to see the end result. Even though it's not my vision, but at least it's, it's done. Yes. Yes, and then someone else can come in and enjoy it because it's a nice location, and it's a I you know being built in 1980, and I think that's why I was so fascinated about it because it's not that many homes on that street because everything else has been renovated, yeah. or either been torn down and built from the ground up. But this here has this, you know it's from the ground up, and has not been torn down. Yeah. Yes. Well, I look forward to showing you a nice, uh, cool, cool-looking house when we get done with it. Thank you. It was you. a pleasure working with you as well. I appreciate it.